Welcome to 20th Century Geek. Hello, concert listeners. Welcome back to 20th Century Geek. I'm Scott Weatherly. And I hope you had a fantastic Christmas and New Year. Uh, we've left 2017 behind, and now we're going into 2018. An exciting year for all, I hope. This is just a short little interlude, really. I was going to do a blog this week, and then sort of thought better of it, and thought I'd just throw out a, a short little uh, mini audio blog, really, into the ether. Uh, as a welcome to 2018, and a thank you, actually, really, to those that have been involved with 20th Century Geek throughout 2017. Uh, I wanted to look back at some of the people I've been able to to talk to, uh, and if anything, for those that have just joined us, uh, as an encouragement to go back and check some of these things out. Last year, I had a fantastic interview with Ed Gale, the man inside the Chucky suit, in the first two Child's Play films, uh, and also a station in Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, and a few other films that. He was a great interview, lovely guy, fantastic interview, so I really encourage you to do that. The same goes for Dave Moody, uh, horror author, and uh, Peter McLean, uh, also a horror author. Both great guys, fantastic interviews, gave good audio, as Kevin Smith would say, a good oral, I should say. And uh, I highly recommend those interviews. Go, go back and listen to the things those guys have got to say. Well informed and uh, just just great, great guys. And check out their work. Dave Moody has actually just had a new book out uh, towards the end of last year. Uh, a new start and a new trilogy from his Hater series. Excellent. I've, I've read it. I highly, again, highly recommend it. I'm going to recommend a lot on this show. Uh, but seriously, check out the entire Hater series. If you like zombies, you know, and you, you know, and you want to give it a bit of a twist, it's the thing to check out. It's an amazing series, really well written, really well paced, and a fantastic concept. Um, so yeah, and the same with Peter McLean. If you like Constantine, if you like uh, the Dresden Files, then I highly reckon I re- recommend his Drake series. Uh, I've now read the first two books in the series, and they are fucking brilliant. That's just what I can say. They are fucking brilliant. Uh, and I love them. So, uh, jumping on to someone else who, who gave their time to show, Stephen Volk, writer of Ghost Watch. Now, for a few, probably quite young people, this will mean nothing. Uh, unless you found it. And I, again, suggest that you do search this BBC uh, mockumentary out. Ghost Watch from 1992 was a show on which... The entire nation was fooled, uh, pretty much. Uh, it, it was it was most haunted before most haunted, really. And I've discussed it with uh, with Mike as well, uh, who will be back soon. Don't worry. And um, and Stephen was the writer. Uh, he created the concept and scripted it, and was obviously involved in the production of it. And it's it's again it's an amazing thing. It really traumatized me as a kid, uh, and stands out as a, as a fantastic piece of television British television horror history and he gave some fantastic insight into how it came about uh, what it was like to write it where it came from as inspiration and yeah why it stands up so well so go back that's also on there the other there's three other podcasts i should really sort of just shout out for that have been uh, quite instrumental really in in uh, what i've been doing on 20th century geek so early doors and uh, have become a constant uh, friend on social media is uh, the Xenozoic Xenophiles the guys that are big fans of uh, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs which is probably a better, a better name for it the comics uh, by Mark Schultz uh, they also have other podcasts uh, really worth looking into and great lovely people uh, Ruth and Darren and uh, thank you for the Christmas card I should say uh, Really check out their pods. Start with Xenozoic Xenophiles. It's on iTunes. It's on Podbean. It's on the usual things. Uh, and if you want to learn about, especially about Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, which is a fantastic uh, comic series from the sort of eighties, early nineties, it's got Cadillacs in it, big cars, right? 
It's got dinosaurs in it. That's all you need to know. It's brilliant. And then two more recently uh, is uh, Lil and Fitz from the Knock Once for Yes podcast. Supernatural podcast providing listener stories, actual proper stories uh, about people's supernatural uh, encounters and goings on, as well as their own from uh, what they refer to as Coffee Hates Q, their own haunted house, and then their supernatural postcards or paranormal postcards from around the country when they go visit certain uh, sites. Great, great podcast, and they joined me to talk about the Amityville Horror, and we came to a bit of a conclusion on that show back in November. I wasn't expecting that. It was a really, really informative show, and uh, possibly one of my favourites um, that I've done from a history point of view. Really dug into sort of like actual discussions around the history and the paranormal events of that that situation. And finally... More recently, again, uh, but talking about the Amityville, uh, I want to talk about the Launchpad po- Launch Pad Podcast. This is Matt and Aaron, two guys who, if you go check out their podcast, I guarantee, if you like 20th Century Geek, you will love their podcast, right? These two guys will make you laugh. They are hilarious. Uh, two lovely little guys who haven't been roommates for over 10 years, uh, but still refer to each other as roomy. They're almost like, you know, they're just two best friends, like nostalgic best friends that you'd love to talk to. They're great. Uh, Fantastic guys. Highly recommend their podcast. They will be on again, okay? I will be getting all these people back on to talk to people on 20th Century Geek in 2018. That's a promise. But if you're not going to hear them here first, go find out these podcasts. So, Knock Once for Yes on all those platforms and the Launchpad podcast. Go check them out. It's fantastic. And I've got to say thank you to all of them for being involved and elevating 20th Century Geek. They really have. They all brought their A-game and I want to thank them dearly for everything they've helped with. And just beyond the podcast, you know, I've exchanged emails and tweets and messages with these guys. I've got to say, you know, you're going to be friends. That's it. It's, they're, they're fantastic. So thank you very much. And that was 2017. It was the year that 20th Century Geek really kicked into what I would say is mainstream. It started early, you know, early sort of evolution in 2016, but 2017 was a big step forward for 20th Century Geek. And now I'm going to take it further. I've got big, big ideas for 20th Century Geek in 2018, things I want to do. Uh, At the moment, you're just listening to me prattle on. I might put some music underneath this just so I don't get boring. But let's think about things I want to do this year. Uh, It's 30 years of the killing joke, if you can imagine that. 30 years since the Joker shot Barbara Gordon and tried to drive Commissioner Gordon insane. Alan Moore, Brian Boland, it's their definitive Joker story. Um, but does it stand up? I'm going to be talking with someone who literally wrote the book on The Killing Joke about it, an analysis. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to be a fantastic show, both the review and in, of the interpretations of what that book brings. 30 years, a celebration of 30 years. Sticking with comics. I should stick with comics for quite a bit. I'll stick with comics because I'm also, at the moment, early days, early doors, uh, in talks with a current Marvel artist uh, to come on the show and to talk about a couple of things. I'm really excited about that. I'm, you know, It's no guarantee at this point, but I'm very excited and hope that goes somewhere because he seems like a great guy and I love his work. More about that in the future. But the big thing I'm really trying to work on at the moment, the biggie, is 2018 is the 80th birthday of Superman. Now, I know they did a big thing for 75 years, you know, that sort of thing. But for me, 80 sounds like a real milestone. It's 80 years. So I'm going to do something special. Uh, It's a thousand issues of uh, Action Comics as well will be published Uh, I think in April or May this year, March, April, May time. So it's a massive, massive milestone. So 80 years of Superman, a thousand issues of Action Comics. I can't let that pass. So April is going to be Superman month. And we are going to look at everything from the creation, the history with Siegel and Schuster. We're going to look at the early movies, everything from those George Reeve days through to Christopher Reeves, through to Henry Cavill as he is now. Everything. And we're going to look at the animation. I want to look at the, the... uh, Fleischer cartoons 
I'm going to go and I'm going to look more at uh, the Superman Adventures of Superman series. I'm even thinking I might try and reach out to Dean Kane. Let me know. Is that something you want to hear about? I think so. I think I used to love the uh, the further adventures of, of Lois and Clark. Quality from the nineties, proper cheesy, but it was exactly how I always remember my Superman. So I'm going to be reaching out to talk more about Superman. Big time, uh, and I will be joined by special guests for that. I've uh, started trying to reach out to certain people. I'm hoping I should get some guest bloggers in for that, and I will get some guests on as well to talk about Superman and what he means to them. And not just the idiots off the street. You know, there are some idiots I will be getting off the streets. But some people that are informed, some people that know their stuff, some people in the industry, hopefully. So let's not forget that there is someone dear to my heart who hasn't been on the show for quite some time now, mainly because he's been off gallivanting and uh, pantoing. So Mike will be back. Mike Kennedy, my erstwhile co-host and closest friend, will be back to make me feel uncomfortable on these recordings again. I know that you've probably missed him in the last couple of months but the other thing I'm looking forward to doing is something I'm, I've been dabbling with and thinking about and I think I might need to get some feedback on this really is you know people say I've got a face for radio so the question is is that enough or should me and Mike take to uh, a more visual medium should we have a YouTube channel should 20th Century Geek go visual and I'm sort of thinking we might try it we're going to dabble in it, I think, later in the year. Probably post a couple of videos. I don't know what we're going to have on them yet. But, yeah, uh, watch this space. 20th Century Geek is going to go visual, I think. I'm looking forward to seeing how we can do something special with that, something interesting, maybe. I'll be reaching out on the Twitters about that and on Facebook to see what people think. But other than that, you know, it's 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 going to be a big year. It's going to be a good year. It is, it is what you make it. You know, and I think 2017 was great. Uh, I've met some fantastic people, as I say again. Uh, I've worked with some great people. Um, I've engaged, and people have engaged with me. And um, on Twitter, people, you know, like the nerds chatting guys. We have a uh, we have a Hulk uh, guys. Uh, super polls. There's some really good uh, guys out there that have been, you know, really interesting, and you know, have sparked some good ideas in my mind. So. Thank you all for anyone that's engaged uh, with uh, with me or spoken to me or contacted me throughout 2017. Thank you so much. It means so much to me and I really appreciate it. I really want to make sure that I bring you the best possible podcast. So um, I'm going to be working on improving it from a technical point of view as well in 2018. Um, I hope it's noticeable or preferably actually not noticeable and you just go with it. So thank you so much, and I hope you stick with us on this journey into the next the next year and see what it brings us. Um, I said I've got some great ideas. I've already started sort of researching and doing a couple of things on uh, things like the Roger Corman post cycle is another one I've just started looking at, which I'm really intrigued about. And uh, you know I've got a bit of a Vincent Price thing going on at the moment. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to wrap it up there. As I say, thank you so much for sticking with us, constant listeners. 20th Century Geek is going strong, and uh, if you want to get in contact with us, uh, please do on the Twitter. It's at 20th Century Geek. That's at 20th Century Geek. The same on Instagram or Facebook, and I'm on Tumblr. Uh, and the email is is 20th Century Geek at gmail.com. Again, that's 20th. Uh, centurygeek at gmail.com please reach out if you've got any ideas any feedback anything you want to talk about let me know we've got some great ideas a couple of last little things uh, we are on Patreon so you know let's keep the lights on if you want to make a donation there are some rewards on there uh, I will be upping those and I'm going to be adding some things to those because the other thing we're going to be trying to do in 2018 is merchandise uh, I was very very lucky uh, I have a fantastic wife and she actually bought me a hoodie a t-shirt and a coffee mug with the 20th Century Geek logo on. And it's inspired me. Because I think it looks the dog's bollocks. So I want to spread the love. And if you want some 20th Century Geek merch. Let me know. It's going to be out there soon. And I'll let you know when. Or just drop a donation on Patreon. Okay. Thank you very much guys. Hope to hear from you. And I hope you keep listening. And uh, just thanks very much. And I'll catch you on the other side. 